U.S. angry, Russian military ordered the U.S. to get out of U.S. fishing waters off the coast of Alaska. Several American commercial vessels were ordered to leave U.S. fishing territory by Russian warships who were conducting massive military drills in the Bering Sea less than 200 miles off the coast of Alaska this past summer. At the time, the Russian military was staging a large-scale military exercise in the Bering Sea, the first since the Soviet era. American fishermen operating in vessels received threatening messages from Russian military ships in the area warning them to leave the area. Three warships and two support vessels of theirs were coming and would not turn, Steve Elliott, the captain of the Vesterailen trawler, told Alaska Public Media. Thomas told the Russian military official that his vessel was within the American fishing zone and that he was not obligated to obey orders to leave. Moments later, a Russian warship was spotted nearby and communicated the same message to Thomas. Thomas then contacted the Coast Guard, who appeared to be unaware of what the Russians were doing. The Coast Guard told Thomas that he was responsible for the safety of his 130-person crew. Another vessel, the Blue North, which was trawling for cod nearby, was buzzed six times by a Russian aircraft. At the time, the Trump administration blasted what it called unprofessional interactions by Russian military forces with U.S. fishing vessels in the Bering Sea. Our commercial fishing fleet encountered a frightening situation, with huge safety implications. Clearly, there was a communications breakdown among our military agencies, and we are working to get to the bottom of it, so that this type of incident, which caught our fishermen off guard, does not happen again. The American shipping vessels were operating in the U.S. exclusive economic zone where commercial ships can operate freely, but they are international waters that are thus open to foreign vessels as well. American officials have acknowledged that Russia has a right to sail its boats through the area. We were notified by multiple fishing vessels that were operating out the Bering Sea that they had come across these vessels and were concerned, Coast Guard spokesman Kip Wadlow said. The Coast Guard contacted the Alaskan Command at Joint Base Elmendorf-Richardson, which confirmed the ships were there as part of a pre-planned Russian military exercise that was known to some U.S. military officials, he said. The Russian military has expanded the number and the scope of its war games in recent years as Russia-West relations have sunk to their lowest level since the Cold War after Russia's 2014 annexation of Ukraine's the Crimean Peninsula, and other crises. We are holding such massive drills there for the first time ever, Yevmanov said in a statement released by the Russian Defense Ministry. Russian President Vladimir Putin has cited estimates that put the value of Arctic mineral riches at $30 trillion. Russia's Pacific Fleet, whose assets were taking part in the maneuvers, said the Omsk nuclear submarine and the Varyag missile cruiser launched cruise missiles at a practice target in the Bering Sea as part of the exercise. The maneuvers also saw Onyx cruise missiles being fired at a practice target in the Gulf of Anadir from the coast of the Chukchi Peninsula, it added. As the exercise was ongoing, the U.S. military spotted a Russian submarine surfacing near Alaska the day after the American fishing vessels were evicted. U.S. Northern Command spokesman Bill Lewis noted that the Russian military exercise is taking place in international waters, well outside U.S. territory. Lewis said NORAD and U.S. Northern Command closely monitored the submarine. NORAD sent F-22 fighter jets to intercept three groups of two Tu-142 Russian maritime patrol aircraft that came close to Alaska. Our northern approaches have had an increase in foreign military activity as our competitors continue to expand their military presence and probe our defenses, General Glenn D. Van Herk, commander of NORAD, said in a statement. It's a signal that we aren't asleep and we are wherever we want, Ria Novosti quoted Kravchenko as saying. <laughs>